So after deceiving my viewers not once but twice, karma has hit me back hard. That's right, I died in my 2686 days old hardcore world. <sighs> it was a really dumb death. Now before I show you how I die, I think it would be a good idea to do one last world tour so we can appreciate this world for one last time. And maybe possibly I'll become depressed and hopefully suicidal. Thank you for staying, a lot of people skip to the end there. The first build of this world is of course a starter base and it is a statue of my old skin. It was a homeless man. After that, it was this barn for the cows. There was nothing special about this, I just wanted to practice building. The next build that I did was the start of big builds. It was a villager trading hall. I wanted something epic and I thought it was pretty epic. The only downside is it's pretty inconvenient because the villagers are so far apart. And over here is where I built all the farms to trade with villagers. There's carrots, potatoes, wheat melons and pumpkins also the lore of this place is that this is the former worker but he protested so his face was burned off and that's why he's here to remind the current workers then it was the start of something special this is a wool farm with 100 sheep it mostly produced yellow wool and the reason we needed yellow wool was to build the minion i built this in the end because this is actually an enderman farm if we go inside the mouth and down the throat we will see that there's an enderman farm right here it was my first xp farm in the world I didn't like how the inside was looking though so I built some waterfalls one there one in the middle and one on the side and then I also built a dock some of this lush cave stuff some kelp some coral and some animals and a tiny beach now after all these builds I wanted to do something different so I started a challenge to collect every item in Minecraft in 100 days I didn't end up completing the challenge I had about 95 items left but after that I collected more stuff so I have everything in here except items from 1.21 there's also a disc farm right next to it because I needed the discs after after that, I spent 24 hours building as many farms as I could, and this was one of them. But let's be honest, farms are not that interesting, so let's move on to the next build, which is gonna be an ice castle. It's actually just an ice farm, but it didn't look good, so I fixed it. I don't own this ice castle though, these foxes do. After the ice castle was done, I still thought this area was pretty empty, so I added an ore city. This city is made from ores, diamonds, lapis, redstone, gold, coal, emeralds, and more. I usually use silk touch to mine my ores, so I had a bunch of them laying around, and I didn't know what to do with them, so I built this city. Now in this city, if we go to the bank and walk over here, and flick this lever, there will be a secret entrance. And under the bank is a prison to capture rare mobs. As you can see, I have two full diamond armors. And this is the best room in the prison. It was actually built for my friend, Timothy. He had paintings, he had a bookshelf, he had a closet, he had a bed, he had a dining table, and he had a table tennis table and a bathroom. But as you can see, he's not here anymore because he died to the killer bunny. I'll explain later how I got it. After the prison was done, I built this big nether portal. This is the dragon skeleton. This is a piglin skull. That's a giant wither skeleton skull. And these purple things things are spirits. Now where does this tree go you might ask? It seems like it's breaking into something up there. The answer is it's breaking into the old world. Kinda like that. Now back to the killer bunny. How did I get them? First this prison was built for Timothy, but second it was built to trap rare mobs. So I went back to older versions to get this bunny. What I didn't realize though was that they would attack Timothy and kill him and that's why Timothy is no longer here. He's dead. The killer bunny wasn't the only thing I got though. I also got the zombie horse, the illusioner, and the giant which is all of Minecraft's unused mobs. He's trying to eat this villager. He also kicked the wall down, which is a reference to one of my favorite show. Then I just randomly wanted to build a Buddha statue. So here he is, a Buddha statue with 90% gold. The only thing that's not gold is hay bales and bamboo blocks. Now the last build that I did, one of my favorite build is the panda village. This is Poe in the middle of the village. Kung Fu Panda is one of my favorite animation. I like pandas. So in this building, I built a panda breeder. I have every type of panda in here. Sick panda, aggressive panda, silly panda brown panda lazy panda worried panda and normal panda and whichever one i need i can just breed them another building is this restaurant right here there are banners of food outside but when you go inside there's only bamboo for you to eat because this restaurant is for pandas and here's where the village chief lives the chief lives on the second floor with his wife and of course the chief is gonna have to be an aggressive panda and on the first floor is a bamboo farm that i utilized to build this village and here's a hospital right next to the chief village house there are some sick pandas in here and if we go under ground right here there may be some dead pandas next to the hospital is the playground there are some silly pandas rolling around you can go on these striders to play in the swing and that's the playground and there's a man-made pond right here because i like fish and the last building is the movie theater if we come here go downstairs turn left we will see that there's a movie theater right here and as you can see the worried pandas are watching 
crying as they're watching a, a film a brown panda as well and that was the panda village i put every type of panda into their own place and i really liked it because i like pandas now how did i die since the maze was added in 1.21 i had this idea to kill every hostile mob with the maze and i was doing well i was killing easy mobs hard mobs i even killed the other dragon but then it was time for the big blind man I brewed the turtle master potion to give myself the best chance at survival. Then I built a redstone clock trap door to distract the warden, a water elevator to go up, but wait, no, 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 no. All right, we go for it. We're going for it. I had accidentally summoned the warden and I thought I had no choice but to just go for it. Just gotta go for it. Just gotta go for it. I missed my first shot, fortunately didn't die, but for some reason I thought I could still do it. Well, that's it. <laughs> Evaluation of my mistakes. I had an elytra on. The beacon effect should have been changed. Turtle master potions were not consumed. And my preparation was absolute dog turd. Overall, this death was truly deserved. I was too hasty and too eager to finish the challenge. And that was the end of my hardcore world that was started on June 3rd, 2022. I didn't know it did that much damage. I mean, that was a good 2,800 days. And that's the end. That's right. Too dumb to do anything right. That's me, my brother. <laughs> but that's all right. Yeah, it's the end someday. <laughs>